Um, here with Sussex Cricket Board, basically promoting our Ashes game here uh, later in the summer. So going into a few primary schools, um, showing the kids a little bit of cricket, hopefully having some fun and um, yeah, really enjoyable day so far. You mentioned the Ashes tour, how excited are you for that? Yeah, I can't wait. It's sort of started to, the media around it started to build up now and it's uh, just over a month away. So yeah, really excited, um, training hard and, and looking forward to, to getting that England kit on again and um, competing in the, in the Ashes. You mentioned playing in Brighton. Is, that a, um, is it a ground you've played before? Yeah, definitely. We actually played uh, two games there uh, for the Ashes series a couple of years ago. So um, we won both of them, I think. So yeah, really look forward to playing there. We had a really good, good few games there last time. So um, with a good crowd as well. So hopefully it'll be similar again this time. And yeah, really excited to, to get going. Have you had any of the um, any of the girls you've been coaching today tell you that they're coming along? Uh, there are a few, yeah, a few girls and a few boys uh, that have already got tickets, so that's um, that's good news on their front. And, and hopefully we'll we'll get a few more in and, and be pretty much close to a capacity crowd for the evening game. I think it's 28th of August, so. Yeah, it's, it's been good to go into schools and, and see some good young cricketers in Sussex. Very lucky today for the Chance Shine programme. We've got Heather Knight and Jenny Gunn here um, working in a number of schools in Brighton and Hove uh, to try and inspire more girls and boys to play cricket but also to uh, get more people at the ground at Hove on uh, Friday the 28th of August for the Ashes match between England and Australia. You mentioned that match. Um, is there quite a buzz amongst, amongst the team and, and obviously Sussex as well that it's coming down to the county ground? Yeah, it's going to be a great day. It's a T20 match, so um, we're looking for a big crowd. But it's all, we always get a big crowd there for these matches. Um, and it's great to have England and Australia playing in, in a very crucial game for them. Um, my first ever test match was at home, so we, um, we managed to draw against the Australians, which back then they were like a fierce Aussie team, so it was, it was nice to get a, a draw then. And then we went on to win the, the actual Ashes that summer for the first time in 43 years, so um, really fond memories uh, from back then. Brilliant, so what kind of crowd are you hoping for from the game? I was just working in schools this morning, the, the, all the kids ran up to us first saying all oh, our parents got tickets already, so no, them knowing that we're playing there without us even saying it, it's, um, it's really good to see and, and hopefully by the sounds it will be a good crowd. Do you think that um, shows that there has been quite a significant rise in the, in the popularity of the women's game in the last few years? Yeah, I, I think massively. I think with the uh, Chance to Shine scheme that um, we've gone into more um, schools across the country getting more women and girls playing cricket, I think it, it has really showed that like, these girls here, they've got a game tomorrow and they're just really excited and, and just hearing their stories, it just, it just shows that um, we're doing some great things. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a, a great 2020. Hopefully the series will be set up nicely and, and hopefully uh, we'll be in with a chance of winning winning the Ashes there, so yeah, it's going to be a really exciting night, uh, under lights, um, high skill levels, uh, best two teams in the world, that the previous two Ashes winners, us versus the world champions, so yeah, it's going to be a really good day down there and, and hopefully you'll come support us.